In this question, we have a person called Alex who is wanting to save 1,000 Rand per month for the next five years. The bank offers an interest rate of 9% per annum, compounded monthly. Alex does not manage to make the last five payments. Calculate the total amount of money that Alex will have in five years. Okay, so here we have a person who is wanting to save money for the future and they're making regular payments and so we're going to use the future value formula and we know that when you use this formula you should always start paying after so if you're compounding monthly then you should always start paying after one month and your last payment should always be at the very end if that is the case then you simply take the number of years which is five and you multiply it by the compounding which is monthly so that's 12 times per year and so your base number is 60. However, Alex does not manage to make the last five payments. So we're going to minus five, and so he's going to make 55 payments. We will assume that he starts paying at the correct time. So this person is only going to make 55 payments. So we can go fill everything in like that, and then we can calculate it, and you should get a, a value of 67,768 Rand and 83 cents. However, this is something that is new. So that is how much money Alex has after making 55 payments. But the moment that those 55 payments were complete, the money is not going to be taken out of the bank because Alex only wants the money in five years' time. However, he can't make the last five payments, but he's still going to leave the money in the bank. What is that money going to do while it's in the bank for five months? Well, it's simply going to grow using the compound interest formula, which is this one over here. And so P is the amount that you have accumulated so far. So that's going to be 67,768.83 Rand. And then we're just going to grow this amount of money for another five months. So we'll just put a five over there. And if you put all of that in on the calculator, you get a final answer of 70,348.57. So the main thing that we need to understand about this type of question is, once you have stopped paying, your money still stays in the bank until the end date. And so while it is in that bank, it's still going to earn interest. Okay, so it's not going to grow as fast as it would if Alex continued to pay, but it's still going to be in the bank and so it's still going to earn a little bit of interest.